Hi. 2D game coordinate systems typically look like this. Coordinates start at 0,0 in the top left, and then extend to the pixel values of the screen width and height in the bottom right. Positioning a sprite on the screen means specifying its X and Y coordinates in pixel values, and that will place the sprite's top left-hand corner at the position you specified. This results in fairly complicated math to position a sprite's center on the screen where you want. What's more, the screen width and height values will change depending on the device and aspect ratio. For example, a mobile phone will have a completely different pixel size and aspect ratio to a desktop computer. And because sprite positions and sizes are typically specified in pixels, they'll scale differently on different screens. A sprite that appears normal on a computer or console may appear disproportionately huge on a mobile screen. By contrast, 3D game coordinate systems are much more sane. Objects are typically positioned at 0,0 by default, and moving objects is done in world coordinates, not in pixels. That means moving a 3D game from a desktop to a mobile device, for example, doesn't result in the views and scales becoming completely broken. We can make two improvements to game engines that don't work like this. First, set 0,0 to be the center of the screen, and automatically center sprite positions based on an anchor. Secondly, Change the units from pixels to world coordinates. Many 2D games feature a character who's near the center of the screen and takes up approximately an eighth or a tenth of the screen space. I think it makes a lot of sense to specify coordinates in terms of the basic sprite size of your main character, so that if they move one unit to the right, it moves the actual sprite one sprite to the right. A nice property of this system is that you then know you have about 10 by 10 sprites to work with in your main play area, regardless of the size and aspect ratio of your system. In terms of heads up display, it usually makes sense to position these relative to the edges of the screen. But again, you'll want the scale to be independent of the pixel size you're viewing on if your game is going to be running on devices with different aspect ratios in pixel sizes. So I hope that's been a useful insight into 2D game coordinate systems and helps you with your own game dev. Thanks for watching.